Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Saturday, the 14th of October, and I hope you're having a stunning day today. Thank you to everyone that's liking the posts and commenting on them because it shows that you're enjoying them. So, and this morning I'm wearing a suit because my dad and mom, they say that I look good in a suit. So thanks, mom and dad. This morning I want to speak about something that a friend of mine, Jake, mentioned in a comment on one of my posts, and that is fear. The Oxford Dictionary defines fear as an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. Something's happened to a friend of yours or family member or a loved one and you're a bit concerned about that. And there's real things happening that are showing why there's fear in your heart. But there's a fear where nothing is happening. That's right. Nothing is happening to you, but you're fearful. You're waking up in the morning, you're going to work, and you're worried at the whole day during work, is something going to happen? Are you going to get fired? Are you going to get retrenched? And that fear is destructive. My definition of that type of fear is it, it, it's something that destroys you whilst it actually looks like it's protecting you. You see, that fear, you think it's protecting you. You think that if I'm fearful about being retrenched, I might be a little bit more alert at work. Justified all the time. But what it's really doing is eating your soul away. And guess what? Fear, you can see it in people. And I don't know if you've seen it, but if you walk into a room and you find someone that's got fear, you'll pick up their energy. And trust me, it's not a nice energy. You'll pick up on the conversations they have. It's not a nice conversation. I don't. Let's be real here. But it's destroying them. Fear, it loves you to death. Let me say that again. It loves you to death. It wants to keep you there. I promise you, fear loves you. It absolutely loves you. If it can kill you, it'll do it. And it, it will try and remind you all the time, please feed me, feed me, feed me. You know, it'll always try and remind you why it needs to be fed. Yes, be alert while you're riding and things like that. That's normal. Everyone should. It's not normal when you're busy driving and you're like, <gasps> something's going to happen to me. Something's... That's not normal. That's fear. And what I'm saying to you is, please don't, don't feed it today. Why not just try today? Try and do something different. Every time you start getting scared, just don't, don't even look at saying, oh, that's not a logical reason why I should be feeling that. Because then you're spending time on what's made you scared. You, do you understand? When you're looking at the fear and say, okay, it's not really real. Now you're still feeding the beast. So I'm saying just ignore that thought completely. Don't even spend time meditating on why it's not a real thought because then you're still thinking about it. Rather, when that thought comes, train your mind to think about something different. Ask yourself a question that you need to answer. Listen to music and say, well, what's the lyrics? Because then your mind is now channeled onto something completely the opposite. And I'd like you to do that. Phone a friend immediately. And don't tell them, oh, I'm scared. I'm phoning you. No, just phone a friend and say, how are you? What's what you're doing? What's you doing today? You know, maybe we can hook up. You just cause your mind to veer onto something different. And every time that fear thought comes, don't feed it. Don't feed it. Don't feed it. Do something different. And people that take control of this, focusing on their minds on something different, can be so passionate and so effective. Some of the most amazing people I know get locked into fear and their energy subsides. And when they step out of it, man, they are beautiful to be around. And I hope this morning that if you have fear, please give yourself a break. Give yourself a rest and enjoy your Saturday. Leave your worries and your cares somewhere else and focus rather your attention and your energy on things that are going to build you up, that are going to edify you and make you have a stunning day. It's a, it's a hard message, but it's a real message. Do not allow fear to take away your energy and your enthusiasm and the zeal and everything you were designed to be because you are amazing and you have an amazing gift that you can give to others if you'll just start focusing on the right things. Saturday is awesome. May you like it. May you share it with people that need to hear it. Have a blessed day. Thank you.